Welcome to Lesson 3 of the topic Ideas to Implementation. In this lesson we will examine the application of electron beams in the context of cathode ray oscilloscopes and cathode ray tube televisions. Oscilloscopes are devices designed to measure how a voltage changes over time. Modern digital oscilloscopes utilise LCD screens to display this information. Before digital oscilloscopes, cathode ray tubes were used in oscilloscopes to produce the display. Cathode ray oscilloscopes, also known by the acronym CROWS, utilise an electron gun to produce a beam of electrons. The electron gun is composed of a heated cathode from which electrons are emitted, a grid which controls the intensity of the beam, and a series of anodes which serve to focus and accelerate the beam. The signal voltage that the user wishes to measure is applied between two parallel plates which become charged to produce a vertical deflection of the electron beam. Another set of parallel plates is orientated to produce a horizontal deflection. A voltage that changes linearly with time is applied between these plates to scan the beam gradually from left to right across the screen before the beam jumps back to the left again. The rate at which the beam moves horizontally across the screen is set with the time constant dial on the oscilloscope. The electron beam illuminates a phosphor coated screen which glows to produce the display of voltage versus time. Colour cathode ray tube televisions are similar to cathode ray oscilloscopes in that the electron gun has a similar structure but they differ in that there are three separate electron beams which carry information about the brightness in red, green and blue. The beams are deflected using magnetic fields rather than electric plates. The screen is coated with red, green and blue phosphor dots, each dot corresponding to a pixel and each electron beam only strikes dots of its designated colour. If a point on the screen is mostly red then the beam carrying the information for red dots will be most intense, with the beams for green and blue being switched off or of low intensity at the moment in time that the beams strike that area of the screen. To ensure that a pixel is only illuminated by the correct beam, a mask is placed between the electron gun and the screen, which consists of a very fine mesh. As the beams arrive at slightly different angles, the metal between the holes in the mesh blocks the electron beams from hitting pixels that they are not meant to hit. Once the electron beams have hit the screen and caused the phosphor dots to glow, and so producing the image seen from the front of the TV, they flow through a conductive coating on the inside of the tube back to complete the circuit. That's it for lesson 3 and I'll see you all in class.